Welcome everybody and welcome to Host at Heart and today we're going to be canning some green beans and potatoes. So stay tuned and with my grandma. <laughs> getting ready to can some green beans and what <laughs> some potatoes potatoes she is so tickled I don't know why but she is so tickled because, <laughs> of, you. Carrie. <laughs> because <laughs> of me what I do you make you laugh. I'm not, wow. don't believe her <laughs> anyway you all so we're getting ready to can some green beans and potatoes and I am going to season them with just some plain old salt, Cajun seasoning, and a little bit of basil, okay? So we're gonna get this going because this is so easy to do, y'all. I got my jars in the oven. They have been heating up in that oven, 230 degrees, I believe I got it set at, and they've been heating up. I got my boiling water on the stove because I will have to fill these jars with hot. Mama, I need you. You finished? Awesome. Okay, thank you. Just let it sit right there. That's the other grandbaby. But anyway, you all, I'm going to have to fill that with some um, hot water. Now, for my potatoes that I'm using, I am not using a russet potato. I'm actually using Yukon. Yukon gold potatoes, okay? So, because I'm using Yukon gold, I am not boiling these potatoes first. If you're using what they call iced potatoes or russet potatoes, if that's what you choose to use, you will need to boil them first, okay? Not for a long time. You're going to have to get into your ball guide to canning book or canning and preserving or something like that. Get into that book and it will tell you how to prepare those potatoes, okay? But because mine are a Yukon Gold, they are very tender potato. If I boil them first, y'all, they will turn into mush in that jar. So, I know, and we don't want mushy green beans and potatoes. It's gonna take nasty. Yeah, I don't think you'll like that, right? You think you'll like it? No. I don't think so either. So, what we're gonna do we're going to go ahead. We got all our green beans snapped already. We got our potatoes peeled already. For green beans and potatoes, I am peeling them first. They've already been peeled, okay, and washed. So the only thing that's left to do is to cube them up, get them in the jars, and add our, our spices and the water. So y'all, let's do it. If you are canning with me today, Please grab your pressure canner. All right. You know you can't. You go. They said again. You gonna need it. You're gonna need it because yes. you cannot water bath can green beans and potatoes. Okay. You must use a pressure canner. All right. Y'all grab your supplies and let's get to it. it. <laughs> oh, how okay. good! That was good. We ain't even rehearsed it. <laughs> That's okay, that's better. Yeah. All right, y'all. So we're getting ready to load up these jars so we can get them in the canner. Now, I have two jars here that I took out of the oven. They are hot. And we're going to go ahead and load up with our jars. With the green. With the green beans, okay? So she's putting about eight ounces of green beans in the bottom of the jar. And then I'm going to come back with the potatoes, okay? So I got my potatoes sliced here. Go ahead, baby. I'm going to go ahead and um, get another one sliced up just so I can have it ready because she moved kind of fast. <laughs> so I got I to gotta stay on top of things with her. 
Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead, see I'm behind already. I'm adding a teaspoon of salt to the jars, okay? I'm adding a fourth of a teaspoon of ground basil, and I'm adding a fourth of a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. Now this is the flavor that we like. So if you want to do something different, you can. If you don't want to use ground basil, but you want to use, you know, just dried basil, you can do that too, okay? But she waiting on me to get these potatoes in. So let me get the potatoes in so she can wrap up with the green beans. And y'all see how we're doing it, okay? All right, baby girl. Y'all right can here. do it however y'all want. That's right. That's right. They don't have to put the green beans, the potatoes, green beans. They can do all green beans all at the right. bottom, uh, halfway, yeah. and then fill it up with potatoes, right? Each one you want to do. Any way you want to do it. That's right, girl. girl. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cut some more potatoes. Yeah. All right. Wow. Yeah, make sure you mash it in good. Okay, how we looking? Where your funnel at, girl? You don't need it right now? No. Okay. Let me get my potatoes cut. Put over there. How we looking? You need some more? A little bit. Okay, oh, so we're going to add. Okay, sit it to the side. We don't want no bad green beans in there. Papa wasn't looking at them, was he? No. Okay, let's see. All right, what you going to do now? Yeah, mash them all down in there. Oof. How we looking now? Oh, we got a few too many. <laughs> you got a lot. I'll drop that right back in there. Yeah, I think I done took out too many. All right, you all. So now that we have our green beans and potatoes and green beans, look at that, in the jar. They're beautiful. Beautiful. And our seasonings are? At the bottom. At the bottom. All right, y'all. So now we have them all in. Now, if you're new to canning, you can use your little head spacing tool because what do they need to do? Need to one inch head space. Leave a one inch head space. That's right, girl. Always gotta, remember that. Always remember that. You gotta leave a one inch head space, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do now, you all, is I got to add in my hot water. But before I do, we're gonna go ahead and start on this jar right down. here. Okay? So I'm gonna start on this jar? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Go right ahead. I got it on the right side, I do. Okay. And I ain't got nothing to do. I'm just standing here. I have to wait on my water because it ain't quite boiling yet, so I have to wait. So yeah, if you have a little help around, this gives you a moment to like just take a break, right? How we looking? Are you ready for me now? Okay. Oh, it's my turn? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna add in some potatoes just to you can, ooh, a few potatoes. That's big. And she's gonna finish it off with the green beans. That one's bad. That one's bad. I told you Papa wasn't looking at them potatoes. <laughs> them green beans. Okay, go ahead and get them on in there. There we go. Do y'all see how easy this is? So if you are new to canning, y'all, this is really not hard to do at all. You can can your own food. Can they see me? I think they can. Your big old bow in the way. You can no, it's can. My big old hair. Oh, your big hair? <laughs> you all can do this, okay? You can can your own green beans and potatoes. It's very, very simple. We were going to use the. Um, you need this or no? No. We were going to use the. Um, jerk seasoning but that jerk seasoning was really spicy so we didn't want it on our food mm -mm. it was so spicy i said to mr h if we put jerk seasoning in there won't nobody be able to eat them but you <laughs> i mean Papa loves spicy. he loves his spicy food i think we're good baby oh yeah we are yeah have to, remember we got to leave what the one inch space. so let's check that out Oh, look one at inch head space. Yeah, so look, that's touching it. Oh, that's better. That's better. That's better. All right, now we cooking with fish grease. Cooking okay, y'all. My water is ready. <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do is just simply pour the water over 
to that one inch head space. Ooh, this is hot. I know, right? Yes, yes dang. Even the handle is hot. Oh my goodness gracious me. Let's add this. Hot water, y'all. Boiling water. Make sure you always um get some boiling water on here. That's right. You know. All right. Now, we got to get all the air out. Girl, go on with your bad self. Go with, wait, go on with your bad self. <laughs> so we're going to get all the air pockets out, y'all. This water is really, really hot, okay? Really hot. It's so boiling make, water. So make sure your hands are not touching That's the right. That's right. I'm going to get the rest of the air pockets out here. And I'm going to get the lid. Thank you so much, ma'am. I'm going to take my little... The bubble tool, make Wait. sure that's back down in there. And I'm going to push that back down in. Make sure my water levels haven't dropped. Go, girl. You got to wipe that rim. All right. Now, she didn't wipe the rims. I'm going to pop that lid on right there. Pop the other rim on. Pop the other lid on. And then we need two bands. Two bands. Good girl. Come on over. And we're going to put these on fingertip tight. Good job. Next. Good job. In the can of their bone. In the can. Got to make sure they're on fingertip tight, y'all. There we go. Fingertip tight. All right. Now, we're going to get some more jars out of the can. And we're going to do it all over again. Same thing over. High five, girl. Boom. <laughs> now, I'm going to get the green beans in. Mm-hmm. We're starting it again, but we're just bringing y'all a little closer so y'all can see it a little closer, especially if you're new to canning, okay? All right, let's get them in. Did I season it? I didn't. That's okay. You go right ahead, and I'm just going to start. See, I'm going to add my one teaspoon of salt to this jar. I'm going to sneak it into this jar while she's doing that. I'm going to also add in my fourth of a teaspoon of Cajun seasoning. Boom. See how simple that is? Simple. And my fourth of a teaspoon of ground basil. Okay. We sop that right there. You can even add garlic if you want to this. That's perfectly fine. Anything you want. Any seasonings you want to add, you can season it however you like, okay? Wait, so now we got that here. We're going to swap. There you go. So I won't have to wait on you. Yeah, so you don't have to wait on me. I'm going to add my potatoes into this one while she's doing that. These are a bit... Ooh, that's hot. You touched, <laughs> touched it. it. You touched it. All right, go ahead and slice up some more potatoes because I know you're going to need them. Hmm? Okay, I'm with you. are good. All right, let's swap again. Switch! There you go. I'm going to add in some more potatoes to this jar. What you got going on with your potato with your green beans? I'm trying to see if this is right. All right, she's smashing them down in there real good to see if we can fit some more in. All right, how we looking? Just a few more. Oops. Y'all see how simple this is? Very simple. Are we there yet? Do you think we're at a one inch one inch head space or no? You always need to check this. That's right, your head spacing tool. They can't see because your arm is right there. Oh, okay. There you go. So you see, there's one inches between the top of the lid and the food. You gotta take that one out. And the food that's in the jar, okay? One inch head space. One inch head space. All right, switch. All right, so now I'm gonna add in I don't know my. If we have enough green. Oh, beans. we got some more over there. Just go over there and grab you some more. This way. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> All right, we're going to add some boiling water to this, y'all. See how simple that is? Up to that one inch lip right there. That's it. And then I'm going to grab my debubbler and I'm going to get rid of all of the air. See the bubbles coming up out of the bottom of the jar when I let me turn it. See that? Look at the bubbles. How it's being how all of those little air pockets are being released just by me 
moving this around a bit in the jar, okay? And that's what you want. All right, set that to the side. Use this actually to push that right back down in there. And my water level dropped just a little bit from releasing the air. So what I'm gonna do is just add a little more water to bring it right back up to that one inch head space. Got some green beans. Got some green beans. I'm gonna do my rim here. I'm gonna oh. grab. Oh, but did not take a he didn't take that stem off. Nope, that's a big one too. Mm, mm, mm. Shame on Papa. Shame on Papa. Okay, so now we're gonna add our lid. Oh, that's hot. And a band. Get your funnel, baby. Fingertip oh, yeah. tight. Funnel, 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 funnel. funnel, funnel, funnel. funnel, funnel, funnel. And funnel. in the can of this beautiful jar of green beans and potatoes, it's going. How we looking? Very good. Very good. Very good. Take that tip off of that. All right, now. Mash her down. Oh, we right on the money. Look at that. I think we're good. Mm -hmm. I think we're good. Oh, you think we need some more? Did you check your head space, ma'am? All right, head space. Up. Yeah, we got to shoot. Head space. We got to see. How we looking? One inch head space. I think that's it. I think that's it right there. All right, so now we need to add our water. Add the water. Add the water. No. Wait a minute. No. Now we got a big bubble, other end. Oh. Mm -hmm. Wait, let's get the funnel. <gasps> funnel? Yeah, because that funnel will help protect you, so that way it won't splash up on you, okay? Good job, good job. I'm going to help hold it down, okay, so the jar don't move. All right, now go on the other side, too. Your hair in the way. They can't see because your hair in the way. <laughs> I told you it was my hair. <laughs> All right. There we go. All the way around. Good job. She be bubbling. Good job. I like that. Now we're going to wipe the rims. Wipe the rims. You're going to grab a, oh wait, I need to add a little more water. Oh, Lord, told me. Because that water came down just a drop. I'm going to put that drop right back where it's supposed to be. Okay. Now she is going to add a lid. Can they see because of your hair? Oh, my hair is always getting away. Okay. All right, I'm going to grab a band and pop that band on. Fingertip tight. Fingertip tight. And that's it. Voila. And the canner is going. Voila. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to finish getting the rest of our green beans in the canner. And I'm going to bring you back and share with you what the next steps are going to be. Okay. So far, so good, huh? So good so far. So good so far. You're doing a great job. Hi, 10. Damn. All right, y'all. Stay tuned. We'll be back. Bye. Bye. <laughs> well, these are our last two jars. These are our last two jars. Yes, they are. So we're going to go ahead and get these last two jars filled. Filled up. And then we're going to pop it into the, the canner. canner. All right. Well, you get started on that. I'm going to start on these potatoes. Oh, yeah. We got to season it up, don't we? Okay, so while you're adding your salt to the jar, she's adding a teaspoon of salt. Your hand the way again. Okay, so she's adding a teaspoon of salt to that jar. I'm adding a fourth of a teaspoon of Tony Saturus Cajun seasoning. Yeah, baby. A little bit of salt. That pink Himalayan salt. Here, right in this jar. That grandma made. I didn't make that up all day. I wish I could make some pink Himalayan salt. You made it. No, I didn't. The only thing I made was that. The only thing I made was it made it look good in the jar when I put it in the jar. But that's it. Okay, so now we have our jars. Now we're our, gonna pop in the, the green, green beans. beans. That's right. We're gonna get our green beans popped in the jar. That's what I was about to say. <laughs> oh, the Cajun seasoning. It's called Tony Saturus with a C, okay? 
Now, you can buy it at any, probably, grocery store. It's very common, very popular, but it is my absolute favorite Cajun seasoning, okay? All right, let's get those green beans added. I'm going to cut up these last few potatoes. Pop that in there. Okay. Potatoes. I'm probably gonna need one more potato. Wait a minute. Are you waiting for me? I see you was being real quick with this. Alright. I might be able to get a couple more in there. There you go. There you go. Alright. We should have did the whole switch thing. Alright, how we looking? Just a few more. Just a few, not a lot. We don't need a lot. Let's see. Because remember now, you got to check. How we looking? Mm-hmm. Told you. Told you. Told you. There you go. There you go. Switch. That's hot. There you go, man. Turn off that. Mash that down. Now it want to be hot, huh? Yeah, now it's hot. Now I'm going to pour in my hot water. Make sure you put hot water in it. Ooh, this is hot. Ooh. And make sure you check that if it's bad, put it in trash or something. That's Maybe right. chickens or something. That's right. Because this is bad. We don't want that in our food. No. We might get sick. Here go, one. Alright, now I'm debubbling. You waiting for the potato? You want me to just pop it in there or something? Yes, ma'am. You can just pop them in there or something. Let me cut them up. Gotta get the air bubbles out. Gotta get the air bubbles out. Because if you don't, your food might do that. I'm telling y'all. That's right. We get that. That's right. You don't want it. Nope. Okay. Well, I figured I could add it in. All right, I'm going to get all the air pockets out. I just put a couple of potatoes on top because I had the space to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm going to wipe the rims. What a chest face. One in chest face. You always got to check. Always got to double check. That's right. All right, I'm going to put the lid on there. Grab myself a band. I'm coming. I know you're waiting on me. Put this in the canner. We got the last jar right here. The last jar. Okay, what you needed me to do? I need it. Oh, some water. Yeah. I knew that. I knew that. I just was checking to see if you knew. I knew. Let's add in. Watch your hand, baby. Don't put it under that hot water like that. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's see what we got here. Be bubble. Baby, you gotta stick out those bubbles. Yep. Alright. I got some more space in here. Look at all that space in there. <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add these few potatoes in there. Just like that, bird. Just like that. <laughs> Alright. Now I have just a little bit too much water, so I'm gonna have to take some water out. Because I don't want it to be above that one inch head space. That's too much water. Too much water. So just take it out. That's all you got to do, okay? Just take out the water. Take out the water. All right. Now we are there. Mash that down. It's got a lot more space in it, I'm telling oh, you. Oh, right. We should have put some more green in I know. Let me see if I can... Fancy some more in there. Let's see what had what what will happen. Oops, I dropped one. What the fuck was that? Yeah, let's see. See if I mash it down. See all that? You see all that space? That's a lot of space. That's a lot of space. So now we're just gonna take out some more water. Put it in your water. Just put it in my saucer here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. That worked out just perfect. All right, y'all. Now we're going to wipe that rim. Wipe that rim off. You know what you have to do, right? That's right. 
Beautiful. And pop out that lid. lid. Band. Fingertip tight. Where you went? <laughs> Fingertip tight. This is the last jar to go in the canner. It's hot? Oh, yeah. It's hot. Last jar to go in the canner. Now we have all the green beans in the in canner. canner. Y'all, yeah. this is my big birthday canner. Since I have. <laughs> now, look. Bertha here. I decided to go ahead and keep the name Big Bertha. It's only fitting. This is a big girl. <laughs> Look at it. So, y'all, I decided to keep the name Big Bertha. Big Bertha. Big Bertha. What? Has what? Big Bertha. Maybe we need to say it different. Yeah. It we need weird. to say it. Maybe we need to go Big Bertha. No. <laughs> big Bertha. No. <laughs> How about the no name that we call it? Big Bertha. Okay, this is Big Bertha? Yeah. Not Big Bertha. No. <laughs> this is Big Bertha, and she's holding 14 quarts, okay? Yeah. I got seven on the bottom. I have a, a divider rack on the top of that seven, and these quarts are sitting on top of that rack. Make sure the um, water. Yeah, the water for my canner. For my canner, it's three inches of water in this canner, okay? No more than three inches. That water level is going to rise as you put jars in it. So my, my canner has three inches of water in it. If you're not sure about how much water to put in your canner, please read your canner's instructions, okay? Now, this is that beautiful All-American canner that my beautiful friend reached out to somebody that she knows at the Wisconsin Aluminum Foundry and y'all they sent me this canner yeah they sent it to me I ain't have to buy it <laughs> I think you was gonna buy they it. gifted it to me y'all and I thought that was so awesome right it was so sweet it was so sweet of them to do right <laughs> yeah. so Especially my friend, especially her. That's a jewel, y'all. Yeah, she's a jewel, really a jewel, or just a jewel, really. But anyway, I got 14 quarts. Now I'm gonna get ready to get my lid on. Before I do that, because this auto, uh, this aluminum, uh, because this canner does not have a gasket under the lid no rubber gasket like you might see in that um <laughs> presto pressure canner okay they have a rubber gasket this has no rubber gasket so you have to make sure that you grease around the uh rim here of this canner or it's gonna the be lid, stuck or it'll get stuck that's right so we oil all we oil we grease this in here around here I grease the, um, the what these called? Allen. I forgot what they call. I know what they call. I just forgot what they call. Right now I'm gonna call them knock balls. Okay. <laughs> <Not> but anyway, <laughs> that goes in our head. No, these are called wing nuts, y'all. Oh. And so I even put a little petroleum jelly. Is what I use. Yeah, petroleum jelly. It's so easy to use the petroleum jelly versus oils and stuff. This the petroleum jelly works better. So I put petroleum jelly all around it on the inside of here, around the wing nut, and around the top part of this canner and on the beveled inside rim of this canner. Wherever this metal here is gonna touch this metal, I put petroleum jelly. Okay? Because if not, this lid will it's get gonna be stuck. It'll get stuck on it. And we're gonna have to call the people to get it out. Yeah, if they could get it off. Yeah, we'll if have they to can, it back. then oh well. Exactly. Canna is gone. So to prevent all of that, oh wait. To prevent all of that, we make sure that we lubricate this canner, okay? So now we're gonna I'm gonna get my lid on. As you can see, the lid is kind of deep up here, so it won't touch the Where's my arrow? There it is. It won't touch the jars, okay? So now I'm going to lock this into place. Now, make sure this is sitting on the fire correctly. I'm going to go ahead and crank this fire up to high, too, while I'm at it, okay? I'm going to grab this. Step back. I'm going to grab this at opposite ends. 
and I'm gonna twist them lightly. Not yet. Oh, okay. Not tight. Nice. Then we're gonna grab that end and we're gonna turn it the other way. Yeah. yeah. Oops. But not too tight. Just until it catches, okay? All right. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Pardon me. For the backs. Do, do the same thing over here, okay? And I'm gonna twist those. Now that I have them all secured, I'm going to tighten them the same way, okay? Opposite sides, all right? Then I'm gonna grab this side here and tighten. And then I'm gonna come over, let me come on this side. Switch. <laughs> then I'm gonna come over to here and do the same thing here and tighten, okay? So we're just making sure that everything is good and tight, and it is, all right? Now you all. <laughs> that these green beans are in the canner. If you were only processing green beans, you would process a quart of green beans. <laughs> Jax. You would process a quart of green beans for 25 minutes, okay? But because we got the potatoes in, we gotta process these potatoes for 40 minutes, okay? So, green beans are 25, potatoes are 40. Because they're in a jar together, we have to process this for the longest amount of time based upon the product that requires the longest amount of time, if that makes sense. So my potatoes are 40 minutes, with or without green beans in them, we have to can potatoes for 40 minutes. So now that the green beans are in there, the green beans also got to can for 40 minutes, okay? I hope that made sense. Anyway, 40 minutes is gonna be on the clock. <laughs> so. If you don't know what your altitude is, check your altitude, okay? Because that is gonna determine just how much pressure needs to build up in your canner in order for you to safely process your low acid foods, okay? Now, you all, for me, that is going to be 10 pounds of pressure. So I will put it on the 10 for my altitude and for this particular canner, okay? This is different from the Presto. If you were using the Presto, you might be using a pressure regulator, okay? Which won't have all of this on it. It'll just be a pressure regulator that goes over your vent pipe, all right? So for me, you all, once it starts venting a steady flow of steam, I will let it vent that way for 10 full minutes and after that 10 minutes is up i'll come back and i will simply pop on my weight yeah i'll pop on the weight and that way That's i will good. allow it huh and i will allow it to build up to 10 pounds of pressure this thing will start doing a little jiggle dance and then i will reduce my heat gradually in order for this to hold at 10 pounds of pressure, okay? And then we're gonna process these babies for 40 minutes. After that 40 minutes is up, I will bring you back and we will look at the finished product, okay? Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, so it is the next morning, bright and early. You all, we had so much going on last night till I didn't get a chance to come back to this canner. We had a lot going on, so <laughs> I just decided to leave it and wrap the video up the following morning, okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and take everything out of the canner. I haven't even bothered to take the weight off. So, I'm going to go ahead and open my canner, and this canner is cool, you know, it's well, it's still warm, <laughs> but it's cool enough that I can handle it, right? Now, remember these green beans and potatoes processed for 40 minutes, okay? Go ahead and open my lid. See how easy that slide off because of the fact of the petroleum jelly that we put on the lid? That slid off very, very easy, okay? 
and the jars are warm but they're not hot okay look at that that beautiful and because these are those um, <clears throat> Yukon gold potatoes they cook so easy they don't take a lot to cook you know especially when you cut them like this it don't take much for them to cook right so that's why I don't boil them because they'll be mushy if I did so I let the 40 minutes of processing time in this canner it cooks them well so I'm going to go ahead and get all of these out of the canner smells so good this morning green beans and potatoes the house smells so good take out this rack and sit it to the side There we have it, <laughs> 14 quarts of green beans and potatoes. All right, y'all, that is going to do it. My little princess heart, <laughs> my little grandbaby, she is still sleeping. We had a very long evening yesterday, so she's still resting. But I'm telling you, y'all, that little young beautiful granddaughter of mine she's only nine you all and with little supervision with little supervision she can do this yeah she can do this grandma has been teaching her this process so she is getting to a point where she literally can do this with little supervision okay and even with taking them out of the canner now, for safety reasons, <laughs> I would have my canner be completely cool for her to take it out because I wouldn't want her to burn herself, you know, on that metal. But really, she can do this, y'all. And I'm telling you, that's how simple it is. So for those of you who have a fear of pressure canning, there is nothing to be afraid of if you just take the safety precautions, follow the instructions of your manual. You can do this, okay? Okay? Did not my little grandbaby show y'all just how simple it is to do, right? So you all, please put your fears aside and can as much as you can, okay? All right, y'all. That's gonna do it. Ugh, they smell so good. Look at that. Now remember me talking to y'all about the different seasonings, okay? You can season this, choose your favorite spices, okay? But don't go overboard because during the canning process, whatever you season it with, it's going to intensify, okay? So, Keep that in mind, all right? So that's why I only added a little Cajun seasoning to this. We were going to add Mr. H's jerk seasoning. <laughs> but after consulting with him, we thought about just how spicy that could be. And so we just decided it would be best to add it once we open the jars and start to cook them. Then we can add our jerk seasoning okay because no one else would be able to eat it right so that's that's pretty much it y'all choose your favorite seasonings yeah you can put mustard powder in here smoked paprika in here right onion powder in here if that's what you want to do red pepper flakes in here okay so 
make it your own. It does not, canning does not mean your food has to be bland, okay? <laughs> it can be quite flavorful, all right? And it don't all have to just taste the same, all right? You can divide this up if you like, all right? So, y'all, you can even make a broth. I'm going to show you something. I'm back. Now, you all, you can even make a broth. I love using better than bouillon. And I have just about every flavor. Not, not all of them. <laughs> the ones I do have, I have beef, I have turkey, I have vegetable and chicken. And these are the bases that you can use. You can even make a broth from the better than bouillon. It is packed, packed with flavor. And you can make a broth and you can even use that seasoned broth to fill your jars with. When you bring your water to a boil, then of course you will make your broth with that boiling water. And that's what you'll put in and, and just taste it to make sure that broth tastes like you want it to taste and fill your jars with that broth and everything in the jar will take on that flavor. Okay. So y'all, you could be creative with it. Make it your own. Make it fun. All right, y'all. So that's going to do it. I have more canning to do. I think I have another 14 quarts of green beans and potatoes to get in the canner. And then after that, y'all. I have got to get to these tomatoes. I cannot tell you how many pounds and pounds of tomatoes I got sitting right there because it's time for me to make my tomato sauce. I'm going to bring y'all along with me for that too. Okay? All right, y'all. That's going to do it for today's video. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and give our video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to our channel. Thank you all so much again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. Remember, y'all, grow your groceries, okay? I'm going to see y'all in the next video.